out into the streets asking the public their views and thoughts about the new expansion of the women's maternity ward. What are some of the challenges that you're having now in this department that you think this other hospital that, is, that will be built soon, like what are some of the things that you think it will make better? One of the, some of the things that I think the expansion will make better, especially in relation to the neonatal intensive care unit, it, in terms of spacing, because the unit now is divided into four sections and we need more space to accommodate babies, which will also help to lessen the spread of infection and so on in the unit itself. As it relates to the space, I agree with her, we need more space. But now when there's an expansion, we also need the nurses to work. Right? We, can't wanna, we don't want to expand the units and we don't have the efficient number of nurses to work. We need nurses, more space increase, more nurses, the workload is easier, reduce the infection rates and everything else. How much, do you know how many people the new hospital will be able to accommodate compared to what it can accommodate now? Well, we are thinking we should be able to get an extra 70 beds, um, approximately. It may be more, but at least we are thinking about 70 beds more we will have on that department. Um, so it will cover the current overcrowding that we, we experience at peak times in the year. Um, because during the August, September time, we, we have more deliveries coming. And at that time, we normally say it's our crop season because we look at the Christmas events and then we have the September presents. <laughs> so that, that um, we should be able to cover that and not have that overcrowding. And, um, and it will enhance the services that we provide um, to our mothers and babies because um, that new area have um slotted in an uh, obstetric emergency area uh, pediatric emergency area mind you where we'll have our younger babies instead of going to the new the current emergency department will come here and access our pediatricians right here hello my name is uh, dr ruth deacon and i'm the assistant director of the obstetric residency program at georgetown public hospital so our role is to train the doctors of guyana how to become specialists in caring for the women of Guyana and looking after their pregnancies and their babies. Um, and we have been running the program for two years and this is some of our other faculty, um, Dr. Lindsay Evans and Dr. Jumila Shakir. Uh, the program runs on having faculty here on the ground but also visiting faculty that come from the US um, at any number of times. Not only have we been focusing on training the doctors, um, and we're soon about to embark on training the midwives as well, improving their skills at caring for the mothers and the babies, but we've also been involved in trying to fix the systems within the maternity hospital, so opening the, the first operating theatre here and starting a triage system, trying to improve the way that the labour room runs, improving the documentation. But one of the... Um, challenges that we run into is just having enough space, enough space for the women. And so, as you know, that there is as hard as we try to care for people as quickly as possible and move them through, there is a lot of women who come to deliver here as, as we had today. We deliver 60% of all of the babies in Guyana. And so there are times when we have to put two women in a bed because we can't turn them away. They need, to, they need to come here where they can get the best treatment. So having this new building will be will enable us to have room every lady will have their own bed <laughs> every baby will have have their own bed um, but there will also be um, room for other other things so two operating theaters because sometimes we have two emergencies happen at the one time and to move even though the other operating theater is just across the road it can take half an hour to get to call the ambulance to bring the lady across and half an hour is too long when you have a baby, a mother and a baby in distress. So having the two operating theatres will be key for improving maternal maternal care and, and baby the care of babies. Um, it'll also enable us to have more space to train the doctors and the nurses because there are, there's a few programs going on at one time and we're all trying to work out of one room. There's often not the time or the space to deliver all the training that we want to do and so we want to make the most of all the skills that are coming into Guyana and the offers of help so we so by having our own dedicated training rooms for the midwives and the nurses for the pediatric doctors and for the obstetric doctors that will enable us to continue the training work that we're doing. Um, I believe on the 10th of March and um, it's been good helpful the nurse 
are wonderful. And when I went in the labor room, I was like, huh, is this the labor room that I come two years ago to? It was really surprising and good. And every nurse was very friendly. Uh, yes. And yesterday I went to do a cut stuff. And they were good. They were good. It was blessed. My name is Ibet Christie. Yes, it is the first baby I delivered, but um, I was here on care. My baby was here on care, uh, 2011. Yes, and we we're here 2015 with delivery. It's like the the third baby actually. <laughs> Um, I think it's really good, you know. Um, the nurse, the nurses are really attentive, and you know they don't sleep on duty, and you get support. Um, they tidy the the place is really tidy, and um, the food looks good. <laughs> yes, the food looks good, and um. One thing I like, the lighting system is really great because you don't have to sleep in the dark and um, you have good uh, air, fresh air coming in. The only negative, well, the negative I see and um, I was afraid of, um, it's the two on the bed situation. But um, coming back, I was fortunate to have a bed for myself for the 24 hours. And if we can, if we can have like that the system you know to have every mother have a bed more people will be coming to the hospital and mothers want to be comfortable i think it's a good plan a real good plan and we can work with it very quickly um briefly i want to say that i'm very very happy of this extension of the maternity ward because i've been a supervisor here for five years i'm now retired and rehired as a clinical instructor and I have seen the need for more beds. Uh, we do almost 60% of the country's deliveries, and we will no longer have two in a bed. We no longer have times where we have mothers worrying about babies in the event that the babies are born and they're very sick and they need to be around. So maybe we can have the mothers and babies stay in so that we can ensure that they're cared for properly. All right, we would have had... So many babies with issues that mothers need. And our mothers, too, will be cared for. I'm hoping that we'll come to a point where we'll have no more deaths. And that is our aim, to improve maternal health generally and to improve babies' neonatal uh, mortality and morbidity. Um, that is Millennium Developmental Goal 4 and 5. Uh, we're striving to become a center of excellence. And I know with hard work and our dedicated staff, we are going to get there soon. Thank you very much. Well, there you go. Society's views on the expansion of the new women's maternity ward and what they might probably be looking forward to benefiting from in the future to come. Yeah.